Here we're going to watch a video of a tree that has been directly struck by lightning. This tree, right here in the center of this image, is a Dipteryx oleifer tree. It was struck by lightning 28 days before this drone video was recorded. As you might already notice, this tree is in great condition. You can see the green foliage everywhere. One exception, there's a staghorn here at the top of the tree. We typically see this in directly struck trees shortly after the strike has occurred. I believe this is the location where the lightning strike would have attached to this Dipteryx oleifera tree. You also notice another green tree neighboring here in the foreground. Um, we want to note that that is also a Dipteryx oleifera. You might notice the contrast between that tree and these understory and subcanopy trees here that are exhibiting severe damage just 28 days post strike. Now, it isn't just secondarily damaged trees like you see here, the ones adjacent to the Dipteryx, but also tertiary trees here that receive flashover from secondarily damaged trees. For context, this tree here in the foreground that's in the process of dying is a Tachigali panamensis. This tree is over 60 centimeters in diameter. So these are some very large neighbors that are damaged and dying. You'll also notice here that there's a large liana mat on this directly struck Dipteryx oleifera that's in the process of dying. We know from many years of research that lianas and competing trees can reduce the fecundity, survivorship, and growth of focal trees like this Dipteryx oleifera. And in this instance, this direct lightning strike is killing the lianas in the competing trees. So let's jump forward 690 days post-strike, almost two years. Here we can again see the Dipteryx oleifera is in great condition. I want to note that this was the most damaged among the nine Dipteryx oleifera trees struck during this study, but it still remains in good condition today. As we see in the subcanopy here, those trees that were damaged previously have almost all died. In total, we documented 115 trees exhibiting unambiguous signs of lightning damage 28 days post-strike. Of those 116 trees, 57 have died, and that does not include the many other trees that would be crushed by falling branches here. You also notice that the lianas have fallen off this tree, and it's largely free of liana infestation. If we then take a closer look, we can see that this subcanopy layer that either currently competed for light or would potentially compete for light in the future is entirely dead. This has reduced this major source of competition, not just now, but also into the future, um, and likely has implications for below ground tree competition as well.